Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about memory read, memory write, machine cycle, timing diagrams of 8085 microprocessor. This topic is present in the subject mechatronics as well as microprocessor. Memory read, machine cycle timing diagram of 8085 microprocessor. The 8085 executes the memory read machine cycle to read the contents of read write memory or rom the length of this machine cycle is three t states that is from t1 to t3 in this memory read machine cycle the processor places the address on the address lines from the stack pointer, general purpose register pair or program counter, and through the read process, reads the data from the addressed memory location. Memory read machine cycle is similar to the opcode fetch machine cycle. However, they use only states T1 to T3 and the status values of I O slash memory bar is equal to 0, S1 is equal to 1, S0 is equal to 0. Appropriate for memory read machine cycle are issued in T1 state. Data flow from memory to microprocessor is represented here. This diagram represents the memory read machine cycle of 8085. Memory read machine cycle timing diagram 8085 is represented here. The following section describes the memory read machine cycle in step by step manner. Step 1 that is state 1 memory read machine cycle timing diagram of 8085 in t1 state the microprocessor places the address on the address lines from the stack pointer general purpose register pair or program counter and activate the ale signal in order to latch low order byte of address that is during t1 state ale is activated this is indicated here in t2 state 8085 microprocessor sends read bar signal low to enable the addressed memory location here is the representation of read bar signal. The memory device then places the contents of addressed memory location on the data bus. Here it is represented. Step 3 that is state T3. During T3, 8085 microprocessor loads data from the data bus into the specified register that is F, A, B, C, D, E, H and L and raises read bar signal to high which disables the memory device. Here the read bar signal is raised from low to high. Due to this, the read bar signal is disabled from the memory device. It is indicated here. Memory write machine cycle timing diagram of 8085 is represented here. The 8085 microprocessor executes the memory write cycle 
to store the data into data memory or stack memory. The length of this mission cycle is 3 T states that is from T1 to T3. In this mission cycle, the processor places the address on the address lines from the stock pointer or general purpose register pair and through the write process stores the data into the addressed memory location. Data flow from the microprocessor to the memory is represented here. The memory write timing diagram is similar to memory read timing diagram. Except that instead of read bar, write bar signal goes low during T2 and T3 states. The status signals for a memory write cycle are IO slash memory bar is equal to 0, S1 is equal to 0, S0 is equal to 1. Step 1, that is state 1. In T1 state, the 8085 places the address on the address lines from the stack pointer or general purpose register pair and activates address latch enable signal in order to latch low order byte of address. Here it is represented. The ALA signal activates the low order address lines. During T1 state, the 8085 sends status signals as I was slash memory bar is equal to 0, S1 is equal to 0, and S0 is equal to 1 for memory write machine cycle. Here it is represented. State T2. In T2 state, 8085 places data on the data bus and sends a write bar signal low for writing into the addressed memory location. This process is indicated here. During T3 state, a write bar signal goes high which disables the memory device and terminates the write operation. Here, the write bar signal goes high during T3 state. It is indicated here. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates, kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.